the heck are we doing here, Dirk? We are uh, going to do a, a little bit of exploring on the spec mine. We're going to go up the spec mine branch to see if we can find spec mine. We're going to bike there and then check the woods. And where are we at now? We're at Camp Bethel. Camp Bethel. Awesome. And we're going to, how far are we going to go in the mine? <laughs> Zero meters. <laughs> Zero meters going in the mine. <laughs> Dirk and I, as far as we can. <laughs> We biked for 30 minutes on forest roads and uh, now we're hiking up basically a re-entrant and it's going to take a little while but eventually hopefully we'll be able to find the mine. All the leaves have fallen so we must be higher elevation than we were earlier today. So the folks at Muddy Squirrel have put in this orienteering course. We're not doing it just because Dirk's knee is messed up a little bit, but one of these CPs is on the way up to the mine. We're using the Muddy Squirrel map to guide us there. We've been going for about 20 minutes, it's starting to rain. Check this out. Got a brick building of some type. Another little hut up there. It's pretty cool. I think we found the mine. You can feel the cold air coming out. Yep. Wow. That is super cool. Yeah, I might put on my rain jacket. Holy crap, that's cool. Okay. How are you, Brian Gaines? We're thinking of you, buddy. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna guard the door, huh? If you hear a cave-in, call the people in the Philippines. They know how to... <laughs> yeah. Cave-in, huh? Wow. At the top of this cave-in, there's a, a second floor up here. Yeah, looks like somebody put a board here so you can climb up. I think we're just going to stay on the first floor, right, Dirk? I'm pointing straight up. It is hard to tell, but it's like a hundred feet up there. You can see there's still more to the cave system. There must have been ladders and stuff. There's another, like, maybe there's another shaft that goes down there. Yeah. I think they said there was four floors. It's kind of neat. There's like a seven thing. Weird. We're pretty far back. Yeah, definitely has not seen light in a while. So this is kind of cool. Like, you can see this, this wall to the right side over here is perfectly flat. And then you look at this stuff and it's like chunky. And so it looks like what they've done, the layer to the right, they don't want. This layer to the left is where the iron ore is. And so all the caves, shafts are all following this big flat wall. Totally tell the difference in color from there to there. So cool. This is cool. Now the layer, you can see it's like very much horizontal like this. You can still see the chunky layer. The, as I'm walking, it's like leaning more and more and more and more. So going into mine number two, check it out. Nice that they put an arrow in here, showing us the right way to go. Sparkly stuff. This is way different. Like no rails and stuff. Oh, we've got a, got a turn. Wow, this one's cool. Whoa. This is pretty cool. We found a way to get up into different shafts. Because the way that it uh, is sloped, we could climb some dirt's way down there. He's like three floors down than I am. So 
cool. <laughs> Keep hearing these barking spiders in this place. <laughs> We came in on the re-entrant, which is down there like a thousand feet. So we're paralleling it on what seems like where they took the ore out of the mine. So it's almost like it's, it is kind of man-made like a road. But we're hoping that we can get back down to where our bikes are. Because if this turns left, we're kind of screwed. That hill is so steep, it'd be really hard to get down. We made it to the end of the railroad tracks and then stopped. So now we're coming down a spur. Our bikes are down there somewhere. So we're gonna go down to the end of the spur and then curve around and go get the bikes. Made it back to the bikes. Ready to ride back. Riding into the sunset.